Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to talk about how to deal with 360 video or VR video. This is just a quick uh, introduction to the concept. First off, we're going to grab this picture and picture and track and delete it. It's just going to get in our way. So next, uh, we're actually going to find some 360 media. Now, a good place to do this is NASA because NASA has a lot of rights-free stuff that you can use of space and things like that. And so a 360 picture is something that you can move around or if you had a VR headset, you could actually look at or be inside of. So the way this is going to work is we're going to download this image. And now uh, we're going to just drag and drop this to our project media window. This is just a simple JPEG, right? It's a stitched together JPEG. Uh, a lot of 360 video is going to have different formats. But now right now you just see the JPEG image because you're not actually inside the image. You're just viewing it like it's on a screen. Uh, to get a VR view or a, move, uh, a moving image view, you need to go to your project settings and then select this 360 output right there and then hit apply and then OK. And then now you should automatically have this 360 mode enabled. But if you don't, go ahead and click this 360 mode right here, and then you'll be able to look around this image as if you're in a VR headset or uh, if you're looking at it in a 360 video on YouTube or something like that. That's exactly how you'll be able to move the image around. You can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. You can rotate the image around. Now, some images will have a top or a bottom. This is nothing wrong with Vegas. This image is just really just meant to have this terrain view right here or should I say terrain Martian rain I don't know the question is how do you do anything with it how do you render it out well if you grab the video the video is going to be as long as you make it so this is essentially you're not showing people things you're giving them an amount of time to explore it's a different concept so if you want 15 seconds or whatever you can give them 15 seconds or a minute to look at this video you grab and render it the same way you usually render video and you go to project and render as. But in the 360 mode, you're only going to have two render options. And that is Magix uh, AVC AAC and Magix HEVC AAC. And this is really two MP4s. This MP4 is the more YouTube friendly MP4. And you can do a 1080p or 4K render, whatever you need to do to match your source settings. Uh, and when you do that render, you're going to get a normal video file. And it's going to be different than your typical MP4. All you have to do is grab that file and upload it to YouTube in the usual way that you upload things to YouTube. And YouTube will just be able to grab it and use it in the exact same way that you you would normally be able to do a 360 video or a 360 picture or something like that and that is the basics of creating and using and rearranging 360 video in in Vegas Movie Studio 17 Platinum like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more thank you to my patrons and people purchasing through my affiliates link and anyone who watched this video to the end and liked it you guys are making this channel run I'll see you next time